Welcome to my channel. This is lecture 13 CSCP. Uh, my first request to all of you to subscribe my channel so I get motivated to more, make more videos like this because this needs a lot of effort and work. So whenever we make the in, in, uh, international transactions like import and export and that is through the sea or inland waterways. So there are four terms used in core term recognized all over the world. So you need to be familiar with them at least so number one is fac free along ship number two is fob free on boat number three is cfr cost and freight cif cost insurance and freight let's go for the first term that is called fac free alongside ship so look at the snap at your left side is a seller warehouse in japan that is a seller and your right side of the snap there is a buyer warehouse in new york so let's define the responsibilities of the seller loss responsibility of the seller starts from picking the stock from where from his its warehouse and deliver it to the port new york port is the responsibility of seller so let's go for the responsibility of the buyer the buyer is you know responsible for loading the stock from the new york port into the vessel and then ship it to its own warehouse in new york so all the uh, sea shipment cost uh, in in transit insurance cost uh, risk you know offloading and loading on the usa port and the custom duties will be bear by the buyer so i hope this this term is not clear let's go for the second term that is called fob free on the board now look at the snap yeah you have a seller warehouse in tokyo japan you have a buyer warehouse in usa that are the I mean that are the end points you know i mean to say that at the beginning and the end point you need to focus okay seller responsibility starts to pick the stock from the warehouse of seller and dispatch it to the port, pay the export duties and load the stock into the vessel. You know, look at the red line whenever the stock is loaded into the vessel. Now the responsibility shift to the buyer. So buyer is responsible for uh sea shipment cost um in in transit insurance cost uh offloading at the port um you know import documentation um and expenses and from port to shipping the stock to its own warehouse through vehicles is also responsibility let's talk about the term number three cfr cost and freight look at your left side is the seller warehouse in, in Tokyo, Japan. At your right side is the buyer warehouse in New York City. So we we divide the seller's responsibility into two entities. One is called expense, uh, and the second is cause is called risk. So first, talk about the expense. So all expenses from the the warehouse of the seller in tokyo japan to shipping the stock to the new york port is of the seller so second thing is now the risk now the seller is responsible uh to uh, for covering the risk from shifting the stock from this tokyo warehouse and when it is loaded on 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 the board on the vessel so here the responsibility of seller is not finished now now come towards the buyer the buyers no we also divide the buyer responsibilities into two parts so the risk is bare when the, when the stock is loaded onto the vessel at that point to the to the point that when the stock is reached in the warehouse all the risk responsibility is of the buyer so he need to make in he need to take the insurance policy from that point to the end point so 
now the now as come the cost from the uh, when the stock is arrived on at the new york port and from uh, you know taking the stock from the new york uh, port the cost uh, you know import duties and offloading cost and then again you know you have to load into the vehicle then it uh, reach to the warehouse so all the you know these type of cost are bear by the buyer so th this is a bit uh, different so let's talk about the uh, number four in good term that is called CIF cost insurance and trade point here is to note that the price quoted as CIF means that the selling price include the cost of the goods freight are transportation cost and the cost of marine insurance let's talk about the responsibilities and expenses of seller so it is the responsibility of the seller to ship the stock from its own warehouse to the boat of destination so all expenses including the transportation expenses uh, shipping line expenses uh, export duties custom clearance all is made by the seller and an important thing to note here is that the seller is liable to take the ins insurance policy uh, because and it should be a transferable insurance policy because now another point the risk transfer whenever the stock is loaded into the vessel from the port of shipment or from the port of uh, the country who is exporting like Tokyo so once the stock is loaded into the vessel so they have already taken the transferable marine insurance and the marine insurance after loading will be shifted to uh, the buyer now the buyer is the owner of uh, the owner of the insurance policy and expenses bear by seller now comes the responsibility of buyer buyer will offload the stock at new york port and then you know he will load give the custom clearance uh, import duties and other taxes and uh, all documentation required and after that you know the stock will uh, be shipped through the vehicles or some other means of transportation like rail to the warehouse of the buyer so CIF I hope so this I try, try to make